Hello everyone, happy Monday, and welcome back to 85 Beauty Talks. Today we are in the bathroom because we are going to be cleaning brushes. This is something that's super important, and I find that more and more people are revealing that they have not been cleaning their brushes, and since I need to clean mine anyway, I figured we could do this together. So if you are new, hi, hello, my name is Keila Fowler, I'm the founder and CEO of 85 Beauty. 85 Beauty is a makeup education company, and we are all about kicking intimidation to the curb and making makeup feel easy and accessible. So I go live every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and I come on here with a tip, a trick, a technique, a skill, something that is going to make your relationship with beauty a lot more loving and wonderful and comfortable. And so today, like I said, we're going to clean brushes. We're also going to clean a couple of tools. You can do this with me. Like if you're watching on the replay, definitely you can do that. Like we do this together. Hey, Gloria. Hi. Um, so several things. First, when the, when the water gets on, it's going to get loud. It'll be fine. Um, here's what you're going to need. I'm going to show you spot cleansing and then I'm going to show you deep cleansing, which is really what we're talking about today is the deep cleansing part. So with spot cleansing, you need a, I like the MAC brush cleanser. I used to work for MAC, so I am a MAC lover. Um, something like this is going to dry really fast, so you will be able to use your brush within a few minutes. If you're looking for something that is going to be like a deep cleanse, you're going to need to let that set probably overnight. So just keep that in mind. So paper towels. You always need paper towels. I talk about using paper towels all the time. So let's use a brush like this, right? Totally dirty, filled with eyeshadow. What you would do is you would take a little brush cleanser and just squirt a little out onto a paper towel. Now, what I like to do is to roll the brush. A lot of people like to like jam it and scrub it, and I mean, I'll get to that point, but really rolling it is going to release a lot of the color out of your brush immediately without busting up your bristles like be kind to your brush your brushes should last you at least 10 years good quality brushes and good quality doesn't mean expensive I think this brush was maybe eight to twelve dollars it's a real techniques brush they are great for liquids creams powders you can find them at Ulta you can find them at the drugstore they're amazing and you don't have to break the bank so what I do is I rub it through and then I squeeze all of the excess out. And this is clean enough for me to use again in a few minutes. So I just let it dry and there, because there's some alcohol in here, that's what helps it to be disinfected, but also to quick dry. What we are now gonna get into is like the deep cleanse. So you're going to need a towel. The towel is for you to lay your brushes flat to dry on. I tend to let it kind of, let the brush bristles hang off the edge of the countertop just so that they have air circulating around them all the way so that if this is just laying against the towel, there's a good chance the underside, if it's a thick brush, is going to still be damp. Okay, I'm going to use a brush cleansing gel by Real Techniques because they make brushes, they also make the cleansing gel. So that's perfect. I, this is like a full on get, you're gonna get dirty. It's a situation. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to wash your beauty sponges. So I like to use the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. It's a bar of soap, right? Something like this. And then it has this little scrubber thing in here. Now, what I love about this is I use this on my Beauty Blender, but I also use it on my brushes. So you can kind of get right in there. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, first thing, wet both of these things. So, you get this a little wet, you get this soft and wet. Then you are going to rub the sponge all the way across the bar of soap. Get it like real nice and soapy, right? Now, that is when you're gonna use this little buddy and you can start to scrub. Oh, do you see all of that, right? All of that is coming out now. 
So that's all of the dirt, the foundation, all of that is coming out and into the sink. I'm making a huge mess, but it's worth it. So you are going to start to rinse this through and squeeze all of the excess water and product out of it. Now, this is pretty clean, but you'll notice there are some areas that it's like, oh, I could go in with a second cleanse. So again, just rub back into that area and then you can rub onto the scrubber and then again, squish, clean, rinse. Now, you can absolutely use a bar soap like the Beauty Blender soap to clean the brushes. Yes, I've used it before. It works wonderfully. So you can totally do that. You don't have to, but you can. Now, with the Beauty Blender, I use mine damp, and you're supposed to use this one damp. So here's what happens. I do this in the morning typically because I'm gonna have to dampen it anyway, and then I just use it right away. But now, tomorrow, all I have to do is dampen and not clean. Now, with your brushes, let's take, let's take this one, like filled with foundation. So I like to get the brush wet first. And water will not get the foundation out. So let me just be really clear about that. You need to use some level of soap. I have just clear antibacterial soap in my soap dispenser. You can totally use that if you don't have a designated soap cleanser, like brush cleanser, it works, it's totally fine. So I just put some soap into my hand. I'm using the brush cleanser. And again, rolling the brush into the soap. And you'll start to see the foundation just like puddle out of the brush right away. Then I do kind of swirl, right? Like I, I get on in there. You can also use, like I said, the little scrubber and just press and roll. And so you are encouraging all of that foundation out of the brush. And then you're going to rinse. Now, you want to hold your brush down when you are rinsing because there is this special part of your brush called the ferrule. It is this metal piece here. It's where you connect the bristles to the brush handle. And that's where the glue lives. That's where it traps and holds all of your bristles together so it doesn't fall all over your face. Now, when you flip it upside down, don't do that when your brush is wet. When you flip it upside down, all of the water will seep up into the ferrule. Well, it'll seep down because it'll be the other way around. It will loosen the glue. Your bristles will start falling out. That's like one of the prime ways of making sure that you ruin your brush. So don't do that, okay? You can tell there's still, I didn't add any soap, there's still that much soap in my brush. And you can see the suds are slightly brown, so that means there's still product in here. You wanna keep rinsing until it's clean. It should rinse clean. Now, the darker the foundation and products that you use, the more likely that your brush is going to get stained over time and typically like the more rounds you have to do of brushing and scrubbing and rinsing. Now, this brush is pretty clean. What I do is I just squeeze all the excess water out. Very, like very tightly squeeze. You wanna get as much water out as possible. Then what you wanna do is you wanna shape the bristles and then like I said lay it flat to dry but just slightly letting the bristles hang over the edge of your towel and your counter so again I will show you now with a blush this is a bronzer brush so it's the brush I use for my bronzer so again get the bristles wet we're gonna do a little soap And then we are rolling the brush into the soap. Big, thick brushes like this, you want to be, ooh, I'm getting stuff everywhere. You want to be really careful to make sure you're squeezing all of that excess water out before you dry. The thicker and larger the brush, the longer it will take to dry. So it's really important. Don't try to do this like an hour before you need to use your brushes. Your brushes will be damp for a really long time. So 
a good solid like overnight I sleep eight hours give your brushes eight hours to dry of course eyeshadow brushes are going to dry so much faster that will happen um, but also if you are going to use um, wait does it matter what kind of soap you use yeah so I talked about the soap at the beginning um, so on the replay you'll be able to see all of that but I use a either a clear hand um, clear hand soap like antibacterial like the um, what's it called the soft soap or the equate version of that or whatever the off brands are will totally work but I like to when I have it use the brush cleansing gel this is the real techniques one there's tons of different ones available and so I'm just rinsing all of the water and soap out of this brush expect the larger the brush the more rinsing that will be necessary because a lot of soap will get trapped into the bristles and of course keep those bristles facing down okay I'm not gonna clean every single brush on here because we'd be here till the end of well till at least about 7 30 it's gonna take a little while now I will show you because I showed you how to clean a um how to like spot clean, I'm gonna show you to do this little one. So again, little soap. And I do go through a lot of soap because when it's something like, when it's eyeshadow brushes, this is what I tend to do. Not with this one, because it has a lot of pigment. Anything that's really bright, if it's blue, if it's red or pink, you're gonna to have to go a few rounds to get the color out because it's strong pigment. But with like natural colors that are on my eyeshadow brushes, I roll them all together, get them all sudsy at the same time, get them nice and soapy. And that's why it's nice with like eyeshadow brushes. It's easy to get them all. We can go through these like pretty quickly. So I'm just going into a little scrubber from my Beauty Blender soap. Now, with light bristle brushes, you will see there's still color on there, so I'm going to give it a second run. The other ones look pretty good. It is a benefit to having a lighter bristle brush that you can kind of see when it's dirty or not. And again, right, I could use my, my Beauty Blender soap. Totally, totally works. And because this has like those little prongs, it just gets like right in between every bristle. I don't think it matters if you use like warm or cold water to rinse. It's totally fine. Uh, don't burn yourself. So cold water's fine. And then lay flat to dry. So with something like this great color, I'm just going to go back into the... using the Beauty Blender soap. Doesn't matter. Either either soap will work, right? Just a dab will do ya. But you just want to make sure that you're getting right in between all of those bristles and that you're giving it a good clean rinse. After your rinse, you want to squeeze all of the excess out. Shape your bristles. Lay it flat to dry. Now this is the one that had that red pink color on it, so nice and clean. Okay, last thing I want to show you is you also want to clean your tools. And for this, I like to just use, you can use a cotton round. I don't like to waste them on something like this. I just use a paper towel and rubbing alcohol. So just get a bunch of rubbing alcohol in here. And for tweezers, again, I use tweezer and tweezers. They should last you forever. But clean them. Like, clean your tools. I can't be more clear about this. Super important because it's all going on your face. And a lot of times, if you notice that you're breaking out in a way that you're not used to, ask yourself when's the last time you cleaned your brushes. Because all that bacteria is just going right back on your face. So I'm just wiping and making sure I'm getting like right in between. So kind of pinching the paper towel and wiping all of that clean. Good to go. And then your eyelash curler. Like 
I still have glitter. I don't think you can see it. There's still glitter on here from this morning. There's going to always be some like mascara and eyeliner on the pad, right? And then it'll come off. You'll see it. And that's how you know. And you're like, oh, it's not as clean as I thought it was. You may have thought that you were doing a great job. And you're like, oh, it's super clean. No, it's not. See what I'm saying? So make sure you're giving it just like a nice, just a nice refresh because this is also a way you end up messing up your eyeshadow if you have old eyeshadow on here from the time before. So there you go. That's how you clean all your stuff. I think I covered just about everything that we need for today. Of course, any questions, put them in the comments. I respond and I answer all of your questions. And I hope that you found this super helpful. I will see you all next week with a new video. And as always, stay fabulous. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.